interesting. Let's talk about game for a second. Yeah. How do you think game has changed in the past five, seven years? I think Instagram is the number one thing that nobody talks about in the dating space and how it's completely changed everything. It's globalized the sexual dating market. If you were a beautiful girl from Moldova 10 years ago, you were trying to get the most desired guy in your town in Moldova. If you're a beautiful girl from Moldova now, you're on a yacht in Dubai because some sheikh has inboxed you because you have a quarter of a million followers. The whole, the whole sexual marketplace has been globalized to the point where anyone who's genuinely a nine or a 10, you can look at these girls and you look and you see the, their travel schedule. You're talking about a million dollars a year, the place these girls are going. They got a job and it's easy for everyone to go, oh, they're prostitutes. You know what? In my experience, and I have extensive experience with many of these girls, they're not prostitutes. They just get fucking irresistible offers. Hey, do you want to come to buy? No, I don't want to be left with you. It's creepy. Okay, bring five of your friends. Here's a hotel room. Here's a, a return flight so you know you can get home, okay? Here's a rental car. We'll meet for dinner on one of the days. Maybe we'll get along. Maybe we won't. These shakes will blow 30 grand and, and fly her and all her friends out just to see. And then they'll have one date and then they don't get along. And these, they don't care. The money being thrown around at these chicks, it doesn't matter to them. So these girls at that kind of level, I mean, I was in, I was in, like I said, I live in Romania, next door is Moldova, it's the poorest country in Europe. I know girls there who are traveling the entire world. Instagram has changed the game and it's changed it to a point where the idea of some 10 who's like humble and, and doesn't really know her own value and just wants a nice man, that is long gone. These girls know you're exactly- because they can, You're saying because they can get the attention on Instagram? Because, yeah, because they get unlimited attention on Instagram. So I'll tell you my girl's Instagram right now. You can go to Cobra MFC, at Cobra MFC. She has 65,000 followers. Her Instagram is on my phone. She gets a message every three to four minutes. All day, every day. Yeah. From verified Instagrams, NFL stars, NBA players, singers in Mexico no one's ever heard of. Wow. But like, it's, it's, it's non-stop. Now she's with me because she loves me, but my point is this. If you're a single girl nowadays, your choice, it's the same as anything, bro. If you go into the and go into the supermarket and I give you a hundred flavors of yogurt to choose between, you're gonna be picky. Like I get to have one of these hundred, hmm, what's this one? What's that one? Hmm, what's this one? It's just how it goes. Instagram has made the whole game. But what about for the women who are not on Instagram? The ones that are still attractive and not on Instagram? Does that exist? I, I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's a good, it's a good I've question. I met a lot of pretty girls, and the real pretty ones. Have I ever met one who's not got Instagram? I maybe one, maybe one, maybe two, and and I was recruiting for a webcam company, bro. I was talking to I was talking to thirty, forty girls a week, like every every chicks on there because it's fun for them. They just get blown up all day long. It's validation. Mm -hmm. It's instant validation for for these women.